if I see from the top of the the bamboo plant, bamboo is a plant, not a tree. It all kind of radiate and go to all different directions. And at the angle, it will be about, I would say, we maybe 35 or 45 degree. Agree? Everybody, see my finger here. Do you see my finger here? I want you guys to have the best understanding about the bamboo. Why bamboo? I can tell you why. By my book, this one, almost everybody agree. Bamboo is the basic uh, subject you should study when you're dealing with Sumi. And we can start with uh, something very small like this, right? And the leaf, the leaf, all depending on which direction you're going to draw, each leaf need to be at the end, the, the tail, we call it tail, need to be pointed. The central stroke need to be symmetrically the same. If you, if, if you pick one, see from the, from the top view. This is a very special ink. They using the, basically it's like charcoal. They grind the pine charcoal into very, very fine powder. Almost like the, in cottage, you have the bread powder, right? Some of you probably see it. And but it, it also been add the, the water and some kind of a, a fish, fish glue or animal glue. No lines supposed to be look identical. That is the beauty of Sumi art. That's also the challenge of the Sumi artist need to do, right? Because they need to have the, the idea, the concept in their head first. It's not like it just naturally appear going to be, naturally happen to be everything's beautiful. Agree? You have to purposely have design in your head. It's the, the essence, the very critical point, very important idea. If you didn't grab it, it's kind of, you, you missed the, the, the main story. You watch the show, you don't even know the main, main character's name. Understand? So try to uh, grab what I'm trying to tell you. Try, try to emphasize what is important, right? If you can do that, that's great. If you fail, you call it a mistake, a small mistake. You just try and try. And when you finally get it, try to do it again. Okay. Let me show you a real, real flower. Ooh, got a lot of this tiny line, and it's totally almost like, like a silk, almost like a, a thin thread, and going up, and then at the end you have the top, right? Oh, go observe a real flower out there. I think right now you can find some cherry. If you need any pot, go find the cherry blossom. And cherry flower petal is a little bit different than the plum, right? But it depends on how how the tree is going to grow, right? Some grow directly, like vertically, perpendicularly going to the, the sky, but most of them still some angle, right? So that causes the flower also going to tilt it in different angle. Understand? Uh, this to me is show the big uh, uh, plum tree trunk in the center, right? And yeah. Jiang also did some kind of after the big tree trunk, you have it not 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 too skinny the the branch. And I, I mentioned after the branch, then you have the tree tree is grow out from the branch, right? So at least we can see three stage there, three three of the plum body and all the flower arranged in different angle that's also good right for the fish let me just quickly say if you walk on i think at this time you should start to using the sumi paper using sumi paper you can easily create a tone if you do it right right you mix you mix your color enough the gray color and then and then you create a couple of so and not not every so going to be beautiful look like the fish right but you pick the pick the right one and you start to draw 
you start to draw the very light, light thin, thin line for the berry and make sure don't do the dark tone for the tail and the and the back fin and make sure at the end using the dark in for the eye right i'm going quickly make another one so you can see and this is that i i so far the common mistakes you can make right But I, I like this one. This, this one, no no doubt, even a little kid can 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 see this as a fish. That's yeah. mission accomplished. But how to make it better? And and this also work on the the Sumi paper already without smear, without without out of control. That also accomplishment already. And yeah. the, if the person never done this, almost almost maybe eighty to ninety percent people cannot even accomplish like this. The, the ink going to be too much, too too much loaded, and then going to smear, right? Yeah. So that already show come to. So give yourself credit. You can do a quality like this. You need to sing the pine needle. Uh, some, some are very straight, and most of them, like uh, like the, the this this one, the, the one on the left hand side, not, most of them need a, like like a fan shape, like a, like a paper fan. You open it up, and, and equally to the center, right? And some are longer longer needle points. Some are very very short. I think the high mountain area, the pine pine tree. I tend to have a shorter uh, pine needle, and so their deep is like a needle, very straight. If you almost anywhere you can find a pine tree, if you are uh, out of the out of the city, right? And you you take a good look, and you know what I'm talking about. On the right hand side here is the, the typical look like a Christmas style uh, tree. Uh, you just need to control. Don't make the left and right too symmetrical. Right? I think a lot of students make mistakes or make it look too symmetrical. I, I remember I mentioned uh, Chinese people have a strong idea of harmony, balance, and symmetrical, right? But in terms of nature, when you need to depict the nature, look at the tree, look at, look at the person, no one is 100% symmetrical. So if you, especially you dealing with tree, you make, you make it kind of not that straight and the branch not that straight and for this kind of like a, we call like the core style the depth and right is kind of stretching out don't make it the same length don't make it the same thickness don't make it uh, exactly point to the same angle right and then then you can do it so most of people go into that issue and and if you can just i understand it better then you will automatically draw better okay thank you So remember the reason you learn lotus is, is a very, 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 very important flower for the Eastern country. Uh, the area in, from, from Egypt, India, China, Japan, all, all over this place, right? All the surrounding area, all know this flower as so like sacred flower linked to the religion. 
Buddhism particularly, but uh, also outside of the religion, Chinese culture, Japanese culture, Korean culture, all kind of build on it and, and take the meaning of it can survive from a very muddy, very dirty environment. And a good person should, should be like that. Endurance, perseverance, and and even in a very difficult situation, grow up to be a person, a very pure, beautiful flower, very symmetrical actually. If you, you take from the top view or the side view, but it naturally decay, right? One after the other, the petal falling down. But the inside, you can have the, the, the seed on the, the, the center of the flower, there's seed. Uh, uh, Chinese people, or Oriental people, eat that seed. It's a very healthy seed. And the root, at the bottom, there's a root, like a big chunk of root, not just a, a tiny, the root can also be cleaned up to, to eat, also have the health beneficial. So the whole thing, including the deep, deep for, for wrapping or the steaming the food to get the flavor, only the stem, probably people cannot do anything else. So the entire lotus is so useful. That's why it all went of the, the water lily. Water lily probably, is, a lot of people have more name, not water lily, right? And he he painted a good one, become famous. But in Asia, uh, lotus, Definitely is number one for our right in terms of popularity and uh, cultural uh, cultural background, right?